An apartment fire sent residents scrambling out of their homes this morning in Reseda. And CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live with more and some frightening video that residents have shared with her. Cara. Yeah, good morning. And first off, I want to let you know we spoke with the assistant fire chief and got some sad news. Uh, one of the people who was injured here, we now know a total of two people were injured, is a man appears to be in his 60s. He is in critical condition, suffered some severe burns and is now in the hospital. So they're concerned about him. The second woman suffered some minor injuries, uh, also uh, was looked at by paramedics. So behind us here, firefighters still continuing to make sure everything is completely out here. We now know that a total of three apartments were a complete loss. Five suffered smoke damage uh, again, and they are just at this point continuing to make sure there are no hot spots uh, still there. Let's take you to some video now that uh, was provided to us by some of the people who were here. And in one of them, you can see uh, flames just outside of her apartment. Other folks here captured some of the smoke billowing up. Crews tell us again, it appears a total of five apartments were involved in the fire. 96 firefighters worked for about an hour to get all of this out. And we spoke with one of the women who was impacted. I was asleep and I heard somebody bang on our window, I mean our door, and say, fire, fire, get out. And we just rushed out. We threw anything on and me and my husband. Now, back here live, uh, I did speak with another man just a few minutes ago who told us uh, that he, some of the folks who are living here, they actually tried to get uh, some of the different uh, fire extinguishers and hoses that are inside of this apartment building to fight fires. They tried to use those to try and get this fire out before uh, crews got here, did the best they could, but it was difficult for them. Uh, again, the sad news we just got from that assistant fire chief, one person with critical injuries. Um, we'll keep you updated as we get more information. And I was about to say that's so heartbreaking just to hear that story there, uh, you know, about the uh, the latest victims and also everyone who have been impacted by this uh, fire here. Akara, uh, are residents getting any help, the help that they need? We see them right now speaking with fire crews. Uh, fortunately, most of them are okay. Those five uh, units that are impacted, they will be working to connect those folks with the Red Cross and to get them the help they need. Uh, but uh, at this point, the folks we're speaking with here just feeling very grateful that these firefighters responded as quickly as they did. Because take a look, this is a huge apartment complex, uh, and they were able to kind of contain that fire. No word yet as to what started this, but I can tell you that uh, arson investigators are already here. That is routine. That doesn't mean there's anything suspicious at this point, but they are here uh, starting that search for the cause. Our prayers go out to everyone impacted by this incident here.